I haven't watched the whole thing, but there's a new clip that got put out that I actually downloaded because I want to watch it properly without the in, in Instagram horrible player of Brendan at, where is he at now? I don't know where he's at, but he's doing these things now called, uh, what are they called? I think they're called like Green Room Diaries or something. It's a new thing he's doing now where essentially he's um, going to these clubs and trying to create comedy bits whilst he's there that are local pacific like that are kind of local influenced right so it's like oh i'm in an area i'm going to talk about somebody that's from the area or loosely associated with the team or whatever and you case a bit around it so trying to basically write on the fly and it's obviously a way to kind of kick back or push back at the narrative that or narrative as he would say that he doesn't write and that he's terrible and he has some stream of writers and stuff and you know he's not funny so he's clearly trying to be a comedian in that way and write some jokes but they're just so terrible anyway. It's just hard to kind of f figure out why he's doing this and why he's promoting it and clipping it up and thinking he actually looks good. But this is a clip of him performing at the club and let's see how many LOL moments we actually have in this clip. Wow, let's go. Come on. Move. I called when the pandemic was over your boy called it because this isn't like inside la politics baseball here you guys get this reference because it went viral for everybody in the world because the mayor of la garcetti piece of trash he's been shoving masks down our throats for three years mr masca sabaho for three years and then he goes to the super bowl last year with the rams one he takes a picture next to magic johnson without a mask san jose i would wear a mask around magic johnson right <laughs> right you guys know why. Come on, it's early. Be cool. Be cool, right? Don't make me say it. Don't make me say it. <coughs> hey, anyway, so if I was in the same room as Mac Johnson, I have a NASA space helmet on and pray to God there's not a mosquito in the same room. <laughs> so this moron takes a picture next to Mac Johnson without a mask. One of the interns is like, oh, he up. Click, tweets the picture out. It goes viral. 60,000 retweets in like five minutes. He's getting destroyed in the comments. It gets so bad, they announce he's gonna hold a press conference the next morning. I'm like, see you this one, face. <laughs> this is real, he gets on there. And the first question, this journalist goes, Mr. Garcetti, Mr. Mayor, uh, real quick, you were uh, caught yesterday not wearing a mask next to Magic Johnson. Is there anything you want to say about that? People are pretty upset. He goes, I'm glad you brought that up. I'm, oh my God, I'm glad you brought that up. Yes, thank you for asking. Yes, yes. I was holding my breath. <laughs> Excuse me, sir? That's the best you could come up with? That's something my six-year-old would say. That can't be real, man. That can't be real. That can't be real. That can't be real. Um, I saw a comment here, just looking at the chat, that says, it's already better than Gringo Pappy. I don't know, man. Is it really, though? Is it? It's only better because it's been clipped and it's been edited. So it's like, there's no pauses and no arms. There's no little, there's an, all the fluff's been taken out of it because it's a one minute 50 clip. One minute 50 seconds clip, sorry. Right? One minute 51 seconds clip, sorry. So all the, all the sort of fat from it has been taken off. So that should be the best version of the joke possible because it's taken away all the arms, all the unnecessary words, and it's gotten right to the beats of the joke. And I didn't laugh once, and I'm confused as to why this man is number one, making COVID jokes in 2022. Number two, making mask jokes in COVID in 2022. Number three, still has a hard on for this LA mayor who everyone's forgotten about. Number four is making Magic Johnson age jokes in 2024. Like, 2022, sorry. Like, what is going on here? Like, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Please somebody tell me what we're doing here please i want someone to tell me i really do want someone to tell me because i'm legitimately confused i am legitimately confused i don't i don't get it
I don't get it. I really don't get it. I don't get what's going on here. Like, why would you do this yourself? Why would you do this yourself? Someone please tell me why somebody will purposely do this to themselves. I do not understand this. I don't get this in the slightest. It's so confusing to me. It really, really is. I'm trying to figure out, like, why would somebody do this to themselves? Like, why? Why would somebody do this to themselves? And it's interesting because there's bits in the joke where, like, he's trying to, he's trying to, there's obvious bits in the joke that are kind of like callbacks to his stances on COVID. Because obviously, most of you would know from the fight and the kid, Brenda was really anti vax and really anti lockdown and all that malarkey. I think he caught COVID like 17 times. I'm pretty sure he lied about getting the vaccine. He doesn't even have it in the first place. I think he just lied so he could just kind of, you know, get away with kind of going out there and doing comedy shows. He was one of the first people to actually go on tour whilst the world was still on fire. Because now, obviously, we know it was mostly bullshit. We know the mask were bullshit. We know the vaccine's bullshit. We know all this now. But back when it was on fire, seeing somebody going on a comedy tour when you're hearing all these numbers of all these people dying all around the world was nuts and the fact that they were doing meet and greets and stuff was just insane so he's kind of always been a bit anti-vax but or anti-covid lockdowns and regulations and stuff but obviously the guy's not brave enough to really step out there and say what he really thinks about it so he kind of toes a line and whatever it may be so all these are little all these little callbacks are like stuff that he's doing for people that are actually watching the show but they're not even that funny like even i would wear a mask like what does that even mean around that just say what you actually mean in general or maybe explain the joke or maybe don't put it in there it just doesn't make any sense man it's just so bad so 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 bad like ah. and also why is he talking so fast i know i sometimes have a mush mouth because i'm so excited and i want to get my words out but he's on stage and he's doing that thing where if you ever you guys have done any public speaking you know that when you do public speaking your heartbeat starts to race and you start to sweat in places you didn't know to sweat you didn't know you could sweat and you usually start to rush your words you get like really <laughs> and I'm, and i would imagine sorry i would imagine that's probably a sign of somebody who's a new comic when you go see an open mic, you could probably tell new comics straight away based on obviously how uncomfortable they are on stage and also their ability, their kind of tendency to rush through their, their bits. And you end up doing, because I can imagine if you're a new comic, you're probably doing the bit in, your, in the mirror and it's probably 30 minutes. But when you're on stage, it goes like in flipping 10 minutes because you're rushing through and you're scared. And he's still doing that same thing. But the problem with Brendan is that it's not only is that he's rushing like a new comic, he also can't enunciate properly. He can't pronounce words properly. He just can't speak properly. So on top of the rushing, he also has a base where he struggles with words. So it sounds even worse than it probably should sound. Like hair, 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 all this sort of weird stuff he pronounces with. He's probably got a mouth full of fucking nicotine pouches as well. And it's just shockingly bad, man. mirror it sounds like he's saying mirror the mirror mr mask saver ho this guy's like nearly 40 years old with two, with four kids or two kids and a wife at home and you're using captain saver ho reference jokes that's like him saying period in a flipping joke thing or slay or yes like really you're nearly 40 so with two kids at home and also i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna oh oh you know you can't hear it oh damn my bad my bad my bad let me go back again let's go back and listen to this again because you need to hear this let's go back and listen to it one more time i called when the f pandemic was over your boy called it because this isn't like inside la politics baseball here you guys get this reference because it went viral for everybody in the world because the mayor of la garcetti piece of trash he's been shoving masks down our throats for three years mr masca sabaho for three f years yeah, the Masker Saver, like, how do you even explain how that makes sense? Mr. Masker Saver, ho. Like, 
there's a loose correlation between Captain Saver. <laughs> Let's not go back. <laughs> no, we have to. If I'm suffering for this, you have to suffer for it as well. I don't care. Everyone's suffering. I can't even try to flip in, make sense of it. It doesn't even make any sense. It's not funny in the slightest. It's a, no, sorry. Let's take that back. It's the kind of thing that you would find funny if your friend said it in like a bar somewhere, hanging out. And, you know, one of your friends like, uh, I don't know, someone, I don't know, as a parting statement, you're drunk and you're, you're hanging out. And he said, oh, Captain Mask or Saber Ho or something. Maybe that would be funny, like in passing. But it's not something that you'd write down and put in a bit and then go present it on the stage that's not that it's not it's not stage worthy it may be podcast worthy and stuff and um friend worthy but not stage worthy which is why i've always said from the very beginning my number one thing or problem with this guy doing stand-up is that it's a waste of time he could be doing this or this version of what he's doing on the podcast just on a higher level like maybe really putting some time into producing a really cool podcast having different segments having interesting guests having fans call i don't know doing something really interactive making it kind of kind of like king in a sting but a little bit more produced and that would be a better way of to him kind of pulling his resources instead of trying to do the comedy thing and the podcast because the comedy thing is just for me it's just like for me this is this is waste of time sir and then he goes to the Super Bowl last year with the Rams one. He takes a picture next to Magic Johnson without a mask. San Jose, I would wear a mask around Magic Johnson, right? <laughs> right? You guys know why. Come on, it's early. Be cool. Be cool, right? Don't make me say it. Don't make me say it. And also, maybe I'm in maybe I'm a maybe I'm in the minority here and I may be only put off because he does it. I honestly think the chugging of whiskey on the stage is really redacted in my opinion personally i think it's redacted and i think it kind of shows i wouldn't say a level of i wouldn't show it's like in i wouldn't say it's like i'm unprofessional but it's not it kind of takes me out of the moment because i'm watching someone perform i want someone to perform come on stage deliver a six set blitz for it if it's 10 minutes 15 minutes whatever it may be and then jump off but i don't want you to see you up there you know sipping a drink like you're in like you're in your living room and shit like i, I don't know it's just weird it's just bizarre it doesn't make you look badass in general and it for me it's the kind of thing that you see with somebody who clearly doesn't really have much of a personality that whole like alcohol is a part of my personality it's just a drink you know what i mean just save them for when you finish the set it's not that big of a deal especially when you got a glass a fucking tumbler full in that regard because i had some people in the comments say to me oh he, the, the glass isn't actually that full it's just a really big cube of ice I'm like, yeah, cool. All right, cool. So you're telling me he's drinking the single there, right? With a huge glass of ice that's making it look like a like a double and a half. Come on, man. Like that's a that's a big big tumbler full of whiskey. It's just a bit excessive and unnecessary. Maybe for drinking a bottle of beer or you got a bottle of water, it's one thing. It would be it would be as just as weird if somebody was on the stage performing and they had like a cup a mug of tea that they were flipping sipping on. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, anyway, so <laughs> if I was in the same room as Mac Johnson, I have a NASA space helmet on and pray to God there's not a mosquito in the same room. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 hey, 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 I will not, I will not. If there's one thing I am, I'm definitely not a hypocrite. When I said Flaz is here, Flaz says, Zinger, you've got a pending pill stream. Let he with the skin cast the first stone. You know what I meant by that pill stream. That pill stream, I meant that I'm intending, I'm setting out intentions to do a stream where I get absolutely blitzed live on stream and see how that goes. But I'm telling you beforehand, as just a one-off experiment, but I'm not going to come on you every day and do a uniques and be flipping slow in my words and fucking leaning back and flipping foaming at the mouth on fucking Benadryl and stuff. That's not happening. I just don't think it's professional. It's, it's, not, it's not necessary either. Just do a fun show and keep it moving. All that stuff is just extra. And clearly to me, it kind of shows that you don't really have much of a personality if you have to drink at every fucking turn point you can't just wait 20 minutes when you're doing your absolute set and then jump off it's like come on man come on and it, and i'm i'm a what you call it i'm a doug stanhope fan he smokes fucking cigs on stage and i think that's lame i just think all of it's kind of crap to be fair it doesn't make you look like a because i think some of these comedians they think it makes them look like a renegade do you know what i mean like they're like this like beat poet or something like 
you know it's like nah bro we know you have a family at home you have a mortgage you have health insurance you know what i mean you take your kids to school in the morning you don't look like a badass with a fucking beer in you and again it's just a beer it's whiskey it's not that big of a deal who cares who cares <laughs> and also another thing to criticize here the the laughing the forced laugh at his own jokes is hilarious because i don't think it's forced <laughs> that's the thing i don't think it is i don't think it's forced contrary to popular opinion he legitimately thinks he's fucking hilarious like he thinks he's dave Chappelle. this motherfucker thinks he's kevin hart he legitimately makes himself laugh like like he i, I could see him writing this fucking you know this uh magic johnson bit and really 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 like la laughing like really laughing at himself thinking oh my god i'm gonna kill them with this magic johnson bit so i don't even think it's fake in the slightest but it's hard to get through to be honest and i'm gonna stop right there because i don't want to shoot myself in the face but if you want to check it out yourself you can feel free um he's making magic johnson jokes in 2022 marsh jokes in 2022 uh lockdown jokes in 2022 you know la mayor jokes in 22 i'm surprised he didn't go after the fuck the other guy um in la who he hates it's just like enough already and enough we know we get it we get it we fucking get it jesus christ us man but just imagine being a fan and actually paying money to watch that shit. It's like, you guys are better people than me, man. Much better people than me.